Hey guys, it's Kuna Koshabat, and today I'm gonna be doing my um, review of the Rebel Trooper Battle Pack. So, you get a minifigure case. About 64 parts in there. Small little booklet. Okay, let's open the bag. Oh my god, I need to get the scissors from over there. Alright, now I have a set coming on Wednesday, but I was eager to open this bad blurry up, so I decided to open it today. Today is Monday, so um I need so a surprise is coming on Wednesday. It was fifty dollars like this bad blurry, but it's a discontinued set, so you'll probably see me make a review of that. Now sometimes I don't like following the instructions just to get extra items I usually would need. Alright, so let's build the minifigs. I don't have any time lapses, so sorry if you want to get to the part. I may not build some of this stuff exactly how it tells me, so don't get mad. Alright, this is it, Torso. Alright. So. This should be the right way to build one of these dudes. Almost done. Whoa. I just dropped the head. I actually have snow trooper figs, like probably with my other Legos here. So I could do a snow, uh, a hot animation or something. All right, so the booklet keeps closing. Okay. Okay, so I see that it needs to be built. So this is like with a snow trooper battle pack we got this year. The snow troopers and stuff. All right, so I'm building two figures currently. These are pretty nice figs. Okay, so here's one of the figs, if you can see it. Here's one. And um, here's two. The set comes with three minifigs. I'm building the third fig right now. And the fact is, the third fig has, the figs have two sided heads. Well, let me check one of them. Yeah, most of them have two sided heads, which is actually an interesting feature. And they have different skin tones and other stuff, which Lego started doing this year. So they're probably gonna make a lot of other battle packs like this, except the clone ones and probably the battle Royale ones, of course. So we got um, three Hoth Rebel Troopers. Now for the build. Now I'm not gonna build the tor turns how they tell me, so I'm just gonna skip the turns. Okay. By the way, thank my grandma. She bought me like $600 worth of Lego, which is really exciting. They're gonna come separately, but I, I I guess I can tell you one of the sets I got. I got the Inquisitor Scythe from Obi Wan Kenobi show. Okay, <laughs> so I won't probably do an unboxing. I made you a review of the set. This is a review and build of the set, though. This one I'm doing right here. This should be the Discharge, if I'm correct. The Hoth Icy Discharge. It doesn't feel like a Discharge, though. So I may change this up when I'm done. Oh, it's getting, it's getting nicer. So this could be turning out to be a good small build. The prices on this in US is usually like, um, like, I don't, I don't know, maybe um $15 and they're only sold at the Lego store for what I remember. And we actually got this piece, which I don't think I've ever seen before. So they, they're starting to add new pieces to sets, which is gonna get interesting at one point. All right, um. Looks like it's the dish turns, a small dish version of the dish turns. All right, now. So 
also consider subscribing to my channel if you guys want to see more unboxings like this. Maybe when I hit 40 subscribers, I'll probably do one of these. I mean, <laughs> I'm only at like 35 subscribers when I'm recording this video, obviously. This turn is actually turning out to be a nice build. Here's what I've completed so far. It's a um, Uber design. It's supposed to get a handle. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. So there we go. So we got a handle design, a movable, it just be like a movable shield of some sort. So the handle is over here, the back of the dish turret. Now time for the turret, more part of the turret. Okay. Now if you want to build a hog double trooper army, you can go with this. This is the cheaper version or option, you could say. There's actually more expensive alternatives to this. Like the um AT, AT which you'll probably need to be um buy, buy like a hundred three of those, which is $150 to get three rebel troopers. So go with the cheap option unless you can't get it. Now uh, this is actually a piece I have never seen. It's like a big bulky blaster. I think it's for the cannons. Not the main one, but cannons just in general. Okay, so this should be on this, and um, this should be here, this is so confusing sometimes. Oh, these red sticks are also used, oh, I see what's going on here. Alright, so should we attach the top of this? Correct. Um Yeah, it's supposed to be attached to the top, so here is the dish turret um, artillery station of some sort, like a artillery dish turn. I actually can use this against that mini walker I have. And I could do like an empire stuff. I could do a lot of things. Alright. So, that should be it. I'm probably going to build something random with these extra parts. Um, let me know if you want to see me use any of these. And I actually, I'm going to try to make an alternative to the cannon. You know what? Because the cannon power things are so cool. Alright, so one of these there, one of these there. So, this is like making a, um, it's supposed to be an army builder and stuff. Okay. So we got a um, little energy pack or some sort, or battery pack. Hmm. Now where is the other part for the battery pack? If you're buying this in India, you shouldn't really do it unless you really want to get some Legos. There are cheap alternatives to Lego, like the Indian versions. I mean, in India, Lego are just too expensive. Like, this has cost me $50. I could buy an entire um, walker with that. Not not, not a um, at at an ATST walker. You know, the ones from Battle of Hoth, if you've seen the movie. I haven't, but I've played Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and I've heard a lot about it. So you could say I'm a Star Wars nerd. And yes, before you ask, um, I, I like the prequels better than the original trilogy, or the sequels. Um, I don't think the sequels is that good. A lot of people don't think that, but I just don't think like that in general also. So, I'm going to look for the pieces. I think it may have missed a piece, or it may have lost a piece. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, I don't know where the piece is. And it was a printed. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, I found that printed piece, and um, should be connected like this. And this. Okay, so we got like two power packs over here. Uh, I'll get like one turn. I'll make like a mix between the turns. 
So let's see what I can make out of this. This is probably gonna be a hard design to make or something. Okay. Can't make the legs. I know why they're they're using um blasters as legs. Like they're trying to make it like a blaster leg thing. I'm not buying it though. Like I'm I'm, gonna, I'm buying the set, but I'm building it actually. But I don't like the fact that they're using blasters to set up the turrets. I mean, it doesn't really look like it could work. If you're low on blasters, you'll probably need them. So I have an idea. I think I can make a blaster rack, possibly. All right, let me design this. It looks like it's going to be pretty simple. All right, so it's going to be like a little blaster rack tower thing. All right, so I think this should be a good finished product. Um, don't think that's how we can store the blasters, but we'll have to find a way. Well, I can make custom blasters. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I know you have something else you probably want to do. So this is Kaminical Shabbat, signing out.